Hi and welcome. Today we'll be going over the seven skin fold sites associated with body fat percentage. In order to find that, we will be using a caliper to find our measurements. These seven sites that we will be measuring are 1. Mid-axillary 2. The chest 3. The abdomen 4. Subscapular 5. Suprailiac 6. Tricep and 7. Last but not least, the thigh. As you can see, to start off with, we are measuring the mid-axillary. Throughout the video, you will notice that um, the subject is actually marked down with X's on the actual spots. For the mid-axillary, it is a vertical fold and it is at level of the sifoid process of the sternum. You will notice that all measurements are done on the right side of the subject and that is to be able to find a standard or a precise uh, measurement, right? Next up, we have the chest. The chest is a diagonal fold. It is one half the distance between the anterior axillary line and the nipple for men, or one third of the distance between the anterior axillary line and the nipple for women. For all measurements, you firmly grasp the skin fold between the thumb and the index finger of your left hand, one centimeter above the side to be measured. Next up, we have the abdomen or the abdominal area. It is a vertical fold and it is two centimeters to the right side of the umbilicus. In the picture, you will notice that um, the caliper is surrounding the X, which marks the spot. Next up, we have subscapular. It is a diagonal fold at a 45 degree angle, one or two centimeters below the inferior angle of the scapula. It will facilitate if the subject actually puts the arm behind the back in order to find the scapula. Once you have located, you can ask the subject to go ahead and let the arm rest on the side and you can proceed. Take a minimum of two measurements at each site. A duplicate measurement are not within one or two millimeters or 10% retest the site. Following the subscapular, we proceed with the suprailiac. It is diagonal fold in the line with the um, natural angle of the iliac crest taken in the anterior axillary line immediately superior to the iliac crest. Staying on the right side, we will proceed to the tricep. It is a vertical fold on the posterior midline of the upper arm. It is a measurement that's taken halfway between the acromion and the oligron processes with the arm held freely to the side of the body. Last but not least, we actually have the thigh. It is a vertical fold on the anterior midline of the thigh, midway between the proximal border of the patella and the inaugural crease, or the hip. You want to shake off all muscle and just go ahead and grab skin and fat. That actually concludes our video for today. Hope this was very useful for you guys. Once again, if the measurements that you duplicate are not within one to two millimeters or 10%, go ahead and retest the site that will go ahead and provide you with a better calculation of the actual sites, right? Once again, guys, thank you very much for your time. Hi, welcome.